Today we'll be taking a look at the Chase Sapphire Lounge at Hong Kong's International Airport. You do have to take a short airport train there, but the lounge is located in Terminal 1, Gate 40. And of course you need the Chase Sapphire Reserve to get in, otherwise you can get one free pass with priority pass per year. There is a good mix of different food items at this lounge. There's a lot of different types of salads and fruits and appetizers for you to enjoy. I wasn't overly impressed with the quality of the food, especially compared to the Sapphire Lounges in New York City. You just have a lot of different options and you have to remember that the priority pass overseas in Asia is far better than the priority pass lounges in the US. So if you were to ask me to compare the quality of the food and how it tasted, I would say it's either on the same level as other priority pass lounges in Asia or maybe a drop better. And I think the main difference is the variety of different options that you have. You have Thai curry chicken, you have different soups, you have pastas, you have all these different appetizers. So there's literally something for everyone. You're not limited to just a few food items. And what you just saw now was just the food that was out, the ready to eat items. There's still a lot of cart items that we're gonna discuss later on that um, is better in my opinion. So when you enter the lounge, that was the right-hand side. That's the main food area. On the left-hand side are where the drinks are and where the bar is. This was during breakfast time, so you have a variety of different juices you can choose from. I just went with flavored water, and you can pick out different sodas as well. And there is a coffee machine. It looks a little bit dated, but it does work there, and I had a latte. Heading further down, you'll reach the bar area, and there's a lot of complimentary drinks that you can choose from. The cocktails and signature drinks are a little bit different at this lounge compared to the US Sapphire lounges. I asked the bartender to make me her favorite drink and this is what she came up with. I believe it was a cosmopolitan drink and uh, it was very sweet. Not my first choice for cocktails, but you know, I asked her for her favorite drink. So this is what she gave me. Attached to the bar is a restroom and this lounge does not appear to have any showers, but you know, their restroom does have enclosed stalls. So you get a little bit of privacy when you're doing your business. A little past the bar area is an enclosed space where you can get work done and also a back area where it's a little bit more quiet than the front of the lounge where all the food is. There was literally no one back here when I arrived and this would be a great area to get work done. They do have Wi-Fi here if you need that. But yes, the layout back here is beautiful and um, you get a lot of privacy in some of these uh, little booths here. So there are a lot of card items you can order from by scanning the QR code at most tables. I started off with ordering one of their pork dishes, which I thought was pretty mediocre. It was very uh, underwhelming. Kind of dry to be honest, I expected a little bit more. But the next item made up for it, it was a dry noodle dish with minced meat on top. The noodles were nice and chewy and the dish itself had a ton of flavor. So this was fantastic. I've heard that for lunch and dinner, you can get chassi, which is barbecue roast pork. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to try that. And I ended the meal with a creamy mango sago dessert from their a la carte menu. So yeah, overall, I thought the food was a little underwhelming, but the space is beautiful and you have a lot of different options as well. So it beats staying at a priority pass lounge for sure.